gift shop person said something about hail the size of baseballs. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Are we gonna die? Yes. We're in South Dakota. We missed the sign. We missed Sorry the sign. guys. The sign was actually really cool. It had Mount Rushmore on it. Yeah. It's 10.43 a.m. and we are driving. We get to give a rating to Nebraska now because we spent a night in Nebraska and we saw all of 100 yards of Nebraska. It wasn't the prettiest neighborhood. We're gonna give Nebraska a, uh, like a, like a C like a D. for scenery. A D, a D <laughs> for scenery in Nebraska. Roads were fine, uh, B plus on roads. There was construction though. Oh, okay, uh, C on roads. Yeah. Wow, Nebraska's getting hit hard. <laughs> Because we took a tiny representative. Because we sample. only were there for a little bit and it was one tiny portion so we didn't get to see yeah. Ooh, horses. Sorry Nebraska, but this is uh, the way the game is played. Sorry if the rest of your state looks really pretty, but... Yeah, we're in South Dakota now, the more useful of the two Dakotas. Yes. Uh, I don't know what's in North Dakota. I don't know. I literally don't know of anything that's in North Dakota. Somebody tell me what's in North Dakota. But here we've got Badlands, Mount Rushmore, and Walter Oak. Yeah, I don't understand Waldro. I, You're gonna understand Waldro. He, he's obsessed with it. So it's a tourist trap. It's a great American tourist trap. There's roadside tourist traps of no value. South of the border, the thing, Waldro, any of the world's largest things. I think there's a giant dinosaur statue somewhere. These are uniquely American. Only in America could such a ridiculous, useless business exist. But the thing I love about it is that it caters and thrives off of the American road trip. And there's no other country in the world that's big enough and free enough and safe enough that you can really just do the Great American Road Trip anywhere else. And also with such a variety of things to see and things to do. And so these roadside businesses that become this huge phenomenon for no other reason than the fact that they exist and have one little gimmick, they, they just make me proud to be American. I'm proud to be American, but I don't need to stop at all the random stores. I just want my money. <laughs> you don't have to give him any money. Walter has free ice water. That's the thing. But I don't like ice. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. Anyway, South Dakota's doing well so far. The roads are great. It's pretty nice. There's a hill in the distance. Some, yeah, there's a hill in the distance. That lens will be real pretty though. So I just needed to show that, share this real quick. We just got lunch. We stopped at the pickle barrel and I've at attempted to start eating my sandwich, but it's massive. Like it, the sandwich isn't even in the sandwich. This is the half sandwich size. If you can believe that there is a 16 inch and an eight inch. This is the eight inch, but it's actually 9.22 inches apparently. And the 16 inches, it's like seven and a half. They have 17 and a half. <laughs> they have um, like measurements up on their board to show that their sandwiches are bigger than advertised. And plus so they're, they're wide. This eight inch sandwich has got to be about as long as a Subway foot long ends up being all said and done. And it's twice as wide. Yeah, it's huge. Good sandwiches. Pickle barrel. <laughs> Check it out, we're in the Badlands. What do you think of the Badlands? They're great. We not, just, not like the name at all. <laughs> they're good lands. They're good, they're very good. We just got out and we hiked a little bit, so like sweaty a little bit, but it's super fun. It's super cool. Like I'm definitely gonna insert some pictures and videos we took while we were climbing around because it is awesome.
happy? Yep. Ah! Why were you yelling? Oh, my, my phone came unplugged. Oh. I don't know what you were yelling. I just was because you were. Oh. Hi, it's Sunday. We're in South Dakota? For now. Right now. Yeah. I don't remember if we said that we're in mountain time now, but we crossed into mountain time a while ago. We just finished at Mount Rushmore, so that's fun. We're going to cross into Wyoming. We're going to Devil's Tower. So, South Dakota, A plus roads, fantastic. A little construction, but even when there was construction, it only went down to 65 miles an hour, which was the highest we saw in Iowa. Um, the roads are smooth and the speed limit's 80 miles an hour, which got you a lot of points. And we'll give them an A for scenery, especially once you get into the Badlands and uh, the Black Hills. So very pretty, uh, on to Wyoming. Here's what the start of Wyoming looks like. It looks a lot like the end of South Dakota. It really does. Oh, this is our prairie dog friend. His name is Thomas. We saw lots of prairie dogs in the Badlands yesterday. That's all for now. Bye. You guys, we just did Devil's Tower. And now we're at the like gift shop or something. And it's nuts. It's the wind is going crazy. You probably can't really tell, but the car is just shaking back and forth. And the gift shop person said something about hail the size of baseballs they sometimes get out here. Yeah, give us advice. What's the safe thing to do? I don't know what to do. Oh, God. Can That's you, hail. Can you hear the wind? I can see there's hail rolling around on the ground. There is? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh! It hit us. Yeah. There's a big sheet of metal just flying around. That's nice. Oh, uh, that's going to put some dents in my car. I can't vlog the hail because... Oh! Yeah, like, that's gonna, my car's about to get <laughs> That scared me. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be like that. It's gonna be like that. It's gonna be like that. Well, it's not, it's not baseball size, but it's- Not yet, it just started. It's, what size would you say it is? Oh my gosh. Uh, we're getting the golf ball. Close to the golf ball, that's probably right. Are we gonna die? Yes. <laughs> baseball sized tail, let's do it. <laughs> I'm uh, looking for car body shop recommendations. We made it out of the rainstorm, or the hailstorm. Now Gray's looking up stuff about his insurance because the car got. It's got a few things. It's we're probably fine. Yeah. I, I can probably get most of them out, but we'll see. Check out how pretty the view is from the rooms. At what time is it? About eight. About eight. Yeah. So we got here earlier than every other day. We've kind of been out until ten at least every other day. We've been just driving and traveling and now we actually have some time to do things. So I've got my computer out. I'm going to do some editing and Gray is going to look through some of the pictures he's taken. Mm -hmm. Whoops! <laughs> We're about to 
Ta-da! <laughs> Gray is dumb. I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Gray didn't see the sign. I was... I don't think there was a sign. The yeah. markers just reached zero and we didn't notice. I don't think... I was, was a... reading stuff about Hawaii because we wanna, we're want we thinking of having our honeymoon there. Yeah, where do you stay in Hawaii? Is there a place you can stay in Hawaii where you can be right on the beach, relatively private, and still be on an island that has lots of cool hikes and stuff like volcanoes, rainforests? Let us know. I don't know if Hawaii is overrated. I'm planning to find out. Yeah. What is that? That's a falcon or a hawk or something. That was a cute bird. Yeah, he was eating something. Anyway, we're in Montana now. Oh, Brian almost hit him. Oh, rip. There's some hay bales, and we're going to Billings to get lunch. It's supposed to be the best fish and chips her brother has ever had. Yeah. So much so that we had to wake up at a certain hour to get to Billings at a certain time to get fish and chips. Yeah, it's not that bad. Like, we just, we just left by nine. Now, here's my thought. <laughs> Fish and chips can be really good when they're done right, but I don't think I've ever craved fish and chips. And I've definitely never like made road trip plans specifically to get to a fish and chips place. And I see there's lots of foods that are so life alteringly good that you would go out of your way to actually get them. And fish and chips aren't bad, but can fish and chips actually be good enough? And that why you is like? Montana the place where there's really good fish and chips? That's the other thing. It's like, of all the places, like, you'd think one by the sea. Yeah, well, they've got, like, trout fishing in Montana, but the, the place has cod and haddock. And I don't think you get cod and haddock in Montana. I could be wrong. I don't really know much about fish species. River. Old Man River. Old Man Street. We're coming out of Bozeman, coming going out of Bozeman. to going to Big Sky. Out of Almost there. Gray wants to give you a rating on Wyoming. Wyoming, uh, pretty good roads, right? Yeah. What do you want to tell? Were they as good as South Dakota? I don't know. I think they were. So pretty close. Eight plus roads in Wyoming as well. The scenery. Probably, probably an A. We'll give them an A as well as South Dakota. Because it's not as good as this. Right. Good job, Wyoming. Yeah, Wyoming wasn't as dramatic as this. At least um, but it was pretty good. Although, if we go to Yellowstone, Wyoming will get a revised rating. You'll get a second chance, extra credit. Mm, okay. This is an A plus from me. I like this. Now nah, we're getting there. And getting there. river. I like river. I like mountains. And trees. And grass. And rocks. It just has it all. It has rocks. It has all the things. We're almost there. How long until we're there? there? 28 minutes. 28 uh, minutes. That's to your store. To the store, and then like 10 minutes from there. So, yay! Hey, this is Samantha. I just want to say that we did make it, but we forgot to vlog because, you know, we were just so excited to finally get out of the car and be at our destination. But this is a picture of the view from the house we are staying at, so I hope you enjoy that, and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was a lot of fun to make, a lot of fun to film and edit, and it was just a fun road trip. Um, let me know if you want to see our road trip back, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and do all that stuff. Yeah, okay, bye.